Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rodney. As you guys know, last month I bought a bunch of Big Bratz dolls heads <laughs> from Makari and I discovered that they have exceptional hair quality. So I thought to myself, you know what, let me make this into like a little series, you know, so I can feature each one of them and give them their respective restyles and restorations, right? So today we're going to be featuring this beautiful, gorgeous, Yasmin. So I'm starting off with the regular process of washing their hair and body But this time I actually started with the body and the face and everything like that It's just so I can get it out of the way She was actually in really good condition all things considered her hair was a little fried and crispy in some spots And I'll show how I kind of ratified that later on but for now I just really wanted to I guess film in the order that would Help me whenever I film like the TikTok, whatever it doesn't that's like technical stuff But yes, this is a really pretty Yasmin. I I actually don't have that many Yasmin dolls, like that many regular sized Yasmin dolls. And so I was thrilled to do this restyle. And guys, I was conflicted on it, but my sister, I asked her opinion and she, she gave me the stamp of approval. So if my sister likes it, then nobody else's opinion matters. <laughs> that's how I feel. If my mom or my sister likes it, nothing else matters. Oh, that's kind of like, ugh, that has got, that has made me emotional. Oh my gosh, okay, whatever. What you just saw me doing in the last clip was addressing her part line because whenever she arrived, her part line is, it's thatched, right? And so when she came, it was unthatched. <laughs> and I don't know how to really address that. So I just try to separate the hairs and organize them and put them on their respective sides accordingly. I actually don't know how to restore thatched part lines. So I did the best I could and I, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm using the magic eraser to get rid of some of those darker, like uncleanable stains well i guess they're not uncleanable but they're like unscrubbable by the sponge Ooh, i like that unscrubbable Ooh, that sounds like a really good like children's show unscrubbable Ooh, okay <laughs> it's funny because i got a lot of com well not a lot but i got a few comments talking about how i did the last one on the floor and how it's on the rug and not in the bathroom and she was saying that like they're not going to judge me for doing it in the bathroom floor but i replied to the comment and told her that it's because of the fact that <laughs> i was filming in asmr so obviously like sound is a really important thing whenever you're doing those sorts of videos one thing that i've recently started to do is kind of use and merge the shampooing and conditioning process together and make it one so i apply both of them at the beginning and it kind of works pretty well i mean there was no clear indication of like dirt in her hair there was no grime there was no like you know crumbs and food and things like that so i felt no need to give her a separate process just for the shampooing alone you know what i mean so one thing that i can say is that her hair was an absolute tangled mess when it got wet oh my gosh i don't know what happened it's like the water it angered it in some way because the way that it was so hard to comb through it was ridiculous and insane but well i think i'm being a little dramatic i think i just caught myself being dramatic but it was a difficult process guys it took me like an hour or two just to detangle her hair granted i was you know using multiple cameras and switching angles and lighting and things like that but it shouldn't take freaking two or three hours to detangle a doll's hair i get that she's like her head is as big as mine, but she doesn't have a right to give me a hard time. Ooh, I like how that rhymes. Ooh, that rhymes. Okay, rapper era. Ooh, <laughs> guys, I got a new microphone. Let me know how it sounds. I'm quite fond of it. I was, I feel like I was low key scammed by Amazon because this was a microphone that I had been doing research on for the last couple of years. Like I, I researched it heavily back in like 2015 or whatever because I was interested in buying it. That's like 10 years ago. That's crazy. But I really wanted to buy it back in the day. But they came out with a new iteration of it, and it happens to be more expensive. I guess has more features or whatever so this is the blue yeti x or whatever and the one that i did research on unknowingly was the blue yeti snowball or whatever i think it was the original blue yeti or something like that but it was a different form factor than this one and i feel like amazon purposely suggested the most expensive one knowing that i was going to fall for it because i am a total audio like if go back to the beginning of this video i love audio like audio is a really important thing for me and you can see I feel like I'm talking too much. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm talking about stuff that has no meaning or, or no importance to this video. But you know what? That's just who I am, you know? That's that's me. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> just go. Um, but I like 
just being able to ramble and being on the flow of speaking just because that's what i do when i'm home alone anyway plus like when i do this it's the weirdest thing but i feel like whenever i'm talking like doing voiceovers for videos and whatnot i feel like i'm actually talking to you like that's the weirdest thing i, I mean maybe it's not so weird but i feel like you're like look i don't know let's think i'm imagining like a person like a singular person in the room with me and i'm talking to them that's what i feel like you know and i know that sounds kind of like creepy and scary but I mean, I collect dolls as a 24, well, I'm 23, but I'll be 24 this year, you know, 23 year old man. So there's not many un weird things about me or non odd things about me. So after washing and conditioning her hair, I rinsed it and I let her sit overnight for like eight, nine hours, whatever. And then, you know, it was dry in the morning. And so, as I mentioned earlier, she did have these like really straggly pieces or like they were like kind of crispy but not really it was weird i guess the proper terminology would be frizzy she had some frizzy bits and so i just addressed those with the flat iron i believe it was at 300 degrees i did notice that her hair quality didn't seem to be as high quality as chloe's um but as you can see like it still turned out pretty like smooth and silky um, but it just wasn't the same fiber which is fine i still like it so i'm gonna draw out the restyle that i had in mind i thought of a, a, an idea and i just wanted to see how it, it would look represented on her on the ipad or whatever um it's a little difficult because the hair got in the way but it's fine i think that the restyle ended up being pretty faithful to the vision that i had for her so i'm, I'm proud to report that here's my old reliable styling bag i think i need to get a new one though because this one is getting kind of like full well it's been full for months but I don't know. I don't really do a lot of restyles these days, guys. Surprisingly, I know. But I think I'm in a moment of admiration for a simplicity in my life. And that's kind of what I've been projecting onto the dolls as well. And it's been nice. So now getting into her restyle, I was inspired by Selena and just like really 90s. I feel like this hairstyle, it might have a certain name to it, but I have never heard it or seen it anywhere. But it's really cool. I, I wish I could do that with my hair. Like that would be fun. But it's, it kind of, it's kind of giving like prom, like going out to dinner somewhere. I don't know, but I like the vibes and I think that it suits her so well. Like I couldn't imagine Chloe having this three style. Leaving some tendrils out because I'm going to curl them later. And you know, there's gonna be a funny little part about the curling thing, but what I'm doing here now is I'm putting two ponytails because the vision was half up, half down, right? But I didn't want to ruin her part line. Again, I didn't want to mess the thatching up. So I had the, I would say it's brilliant. It's a brilliant idea of giving her two pigtails at the top and then merging them together to make one. Look how silky her hair is. She's just beautiful. See, now it's two. And I also wanted to see what she would look like with two. And I wasn't the biggest fan um, of this hairstyle, particularly with two pigtails. Um, but see here, I'm merging the two. And it's also good because it made the curls shorter and that's the vibe that i was going for i didn't want the curls to be super long i feel like she's already slightly giving y2k at this moment like at this point in the process but no, i decided to elevate it and give her some curls which i was dreading because i don't really like giving dolls curls because it seems like it, it can be quite an ambiguous process at times for example one curl might be tighter than the other curl and i've held them on the iron for the same amount of time so that that definitely happened during this process and I got frustrated I wanted to look good and I wanted to be as best as it could be but here these curls right here I'm gonna put the I'm gonna leave the audio in of my reaction to the curl uh yeah I was caught off guard it turned out so just to have a look that's so freaking cute what? Why didn't the like that? again Curling hair it can be quite an ambiguous experience, but I think overall it still turned out cute. Again, I got the stamp of approval. Actually, she got the stamp of approval from my sister. So, boom. <laughs> Who am I like fighting and arguing against? I'm like arguing against myself. Nobody said it's ugly, but even if people try to say it's ugly, my sister said it's cute. So, I got these really cool berets. A uh, barrettes? Ooh, beret. <laughs> Not me in my French era. I got a whole pack of them um, from Amazon. They're really cool. Obviously, they're designed for human heads, but these dolls have big heads, so it, it worked beautifully on her. I just love it so much. It's simple, it's cute, it's easy to replicate. I would highly recommend these big headed dolls. <laughs> they're so much fun, and 
I, I mentioned in the last video how much con more connected I feel to them because of their size. I feel like they're like little friends of mine. I don't know, like a little like friend, like I'm doing her hair. I don't know. It's just, it's cool. It's fun. It's cute. Um, let me know what you think about this restyle. I'm, I'm, I like it. I mean, it's the first time that I've ever restyled a doll of this size. Ooh, is that no? Well, yeah, it, it, well, because the Kylie Bratz doll wasn't as big. Like, if you guys don't know, her head isn't as big as these ones. Like, these ones have like human size head. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, like my my niece, my niece's head is smaller than hers, and she got a big head. So, but yeah, I guess that'll be all for this video. The next video is gonna be shared. I don't know. Did I say that already? I think I said that already. But I'm super excited. I don't know what I'm doing anymore at this point. Do I ever know what I'm doing? No. But. We're taking it day by day, but that's it. I don't want to talk anymore. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.